time. Amen. We got time. We got time for everything, look like. Except God. Amen. We got time on, on our hands. And I want to tell all of us that we are closer today than we were yesterday to eternity. One of these days, there will be time no more. But until Jesus comes back and wraps time up, we've got to serve this present age. Amen, somebody. I have noticed that things change. And they change all the time. It's hot now. But if you live a little while longer, the fall of the year will come and the leaves will fall. But they will not fall until it's time for them to fall. Yeah. Are y'all in here? Yeah. There are some things that just will not happen for you until it's time. Amen. I don't care how big your chest is at age eight. You're still not a man. Amen. The Bible says that when I was a what child, I acted like a child. I have discovered that us grown folks, us is, us as grown folks, we tell children that you ought to act your age. But guess what? They are acting their age. We talk about how evil and how destructive our children are. But when we take a retrospect of our own lives, we had been Miss Goody Two Shoes always. Oh, y'all looking kind of mean over here, baby. Maybe y'all been saved all y'all life, but, but there was a time when we were not saved and we acted sometimes worse than folk now that are not saved. Amen. It ain't nothing new about lesbianism. Amen. That ain't nothing new. Homosexual, that ain't nothing new. It is time. Somebody shout time. It is time for us to love everybody. No matter what they think they are. You got to love them. You know why? St. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world. He loved us liars. He loved us folk that stole. And y'all looking at me strange. But a lot of us have been stealing. And some of you stealing now. Will a man rob God? Yep. You steal it. Yeah. Amen. You steal it. If you don't give God what belongs to him, you are a thief. Yeah. Amen. And some of us are stealing and lying. And if the IRS start checking on us, all that stuff we said we did and had in business, some of us had done nothing but lie. So God so loved everybody, and that includes us, even in the church. Because you know, sometimes in church we act kind of funny if we see Brother Jones coming this way. Oh, I don't want to talk to him. So Sally got on a new dress. Oh, she thinks she's something. Y'all know how we act. Amen. Y'all know how we act. We act ugly sometimes. 
Sometimes our worst enemies is not white folk. Sometimes our worst enemy is us. Us is can't stand. Us is to get some. And it ain't nothing but some material things. It's going to all go away. You ain't going to have it forever. Enjoy what you got. And then use what you got because if God gave it to you, if God gave you a good voice, then use it for his glory because he didn't have to give it to you. And God don't owe us, God don't owe us anything. The main thrust of this message today is that we ought to make time for God. We got time for cable. Don't act like y'all don't have cable. <laughs> Folk come over to my house and say, you ain't got cable? <laughs> what I need cable for? I ain't at home that much. All you gotta do is you wanna get people away from your house, tell them you ain't got no cable, ain't got nothing in the refrigerator. Hey man, if you, you know, if you got a lot in the refrigerator, folks will stay around and hang around you a long day, even your relatives. If you want to get rid of, I'm finna mess some folks up. If you want to get rid of your uh, relatives, just start hiding the food. <laughs> and you know, sometimes we can, we can wear our own welcome out. Amen. Well, I remember we can go to folk house sometimes and stay. You don't need to stay too long. But we'll stay so long until our relatives say, have you heard them say when they gonna leave? <laughs> it's time. Hey Amen, it's time. When I was a child, I acted like a child, you know. And, and some of us grown folks still act like children. Amen. 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 We always said, I said this is just about everywhere I go, I said we always criticizing our children for trying to grow up too fast. And we trying to stay young too long. Yeah, we try to stay young. Praise the Lord. But when the time comes, guess what? Your footsteps will get short. Your eyes will get dim. Your speech will get slurred. And you won't be able to eat everything that you used to eat. Because time will bring about a change. If you don't believe it, just stay around a little while longer. Time will bring about a change. Solomon, who God had given all this wisdom to, and I don't care, uh, I don't care how much sense you got, sometimes you'll make mistakes. God had given Solomon wisdom and riches and he gave him the power to interpret riddles. And every riddle that came to Solomon, he was able to interpret because of God having given him the wisdom. There was a black queen, not a king, but a black queen named Sheba. An African woman who took her train, and when I said train, she took all of her camels and riches and gold and, and went to talk with Solomon. The time came when she says, I, I've heard so much about this man. I've heard about all of his fame and all that he has and how he interpret riddles, and, 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 and I came to see for myself. You know, there ought to be some folk that are coming to church and see what's going on for themselves. I said, I tell St. John that there are two kinds of people at church. Those that go and those that stay at home and ask those who went what they 